My name is Tom Hamer and I'm a technician of the Department of Electrical Engineering at University College London. I will make and design prototypes for students' research work, research work with inside the department and outside the department. I was around 14 years old. My father was a technician here as well and um, I became very interested in the work. I was always curious on how things were made and designed so I started asking him questions about what he did and he said to me one sort of during the summer holidays would you like to come up so I said I'd love to. When I turned 16 I asked him if I could do my two weeks work experience up here he said yes and department said yes so I did my work experience and then I sort of did my GCSEs, come straight C's, I started a foundation modern apprenticeship, but I, I never really enjoyed it. When I applied for it, when I was in year 11, they said to me, what would I like to do in an apprenticeship? I said, well, mechanical engineering. And they said, yep, that's certainly we can, we can do that for you. And it came to the first week and they said, now this apprenticeship, foundation modern apprenticeship will be for plumbing and electricians only. So I resided to the fact that I'd be able to do plumbing or electrical uh, plumbing or be an electrician for the rest of my life. And it, it was just something I wasn't really interested in, but I did not know really where to go from there. So what I did is I started looking for jobs and um, a junior technician's position came available within, within our, the department I work in now. And um, I applied for it and with my previous experience working at UCL and within the industry, they accepted me and I've, uh, I've worked here for, since I was 16 now. I think my dad was rather proud of me for taking the step into the, the family trade. He never pushed me, but he was always intrigued when I asked him, could you show me how something works? School was very different. It was OK. I wouldn't say I enjoyed it, but I, didn't say, I wouldn't say I hated it either. It was the resistant materials, woodwork, metalwork, graphics, anything that was practical and hands-on was, was me. So anything that where I could design something or, or manufacture something was something that always took my interest. My mother had me very late on in life and she was a legal secretary up to the time she had me and then retired from that point. I'm engaged. Uh, my, my hobby at the moment is actually renovating my house. So I, I've really got no time for other activities at the moment, but I, do, I used to play golf. Um, I am still a scout leader. So I, I do devote my time to sort of helping other people as well as my own interests outside. At the beginning I was apprehensive because it was always stated that you would always have to talk to different types of people, academics, professors, doctors, down to first years, second years, as well as outside contract work if people came in and asked for work to be done. It was daunting at first, but at the moment I've just designed and finished a prototype for Vodafone, which was a solar powered umbrella, which would charge a mobile phone and boost a mobile phone signal. It's predominantly sort of designed for festival goers. I've had to re-engineer an umbrella to accept circuitry work, which our professors and doctors have designed. I've got to know a lot of the academics and the research work as well. So I, I, I hoped it would naturally follow that the air of progression would continue. Technician here is such a broad variation on the word. I mean, it can be anyone from really that cleans test tubes in a laboratory to making intricate pieces of metal and plastic work. It could take you down many routes. I do know a few technicians within other universities that have actually gone on to become doctors and professors because they found it so intriguing that what, what research work they used to help with. So, I mean, the possibilities are endless with where you could progress to. 